um, you know, maybe 15 cents. I mean, it wasn't expensive like it is now. I imagine when I was dating Louie, five dollars probably all I needed because we went to 40 cents a piece to go to a movie. And we'd go to the restaurant and I usually just had like pie and ice cream and that was only probably about 25 or 30 cents. Yeah. When you quit working, how much were you making an hour? Ten dollars an hour? About eleven dollars, I think. But I had to make ninety-five at that much. A piecework. And when when Goodrich sold out, they done away with the piecework. They just but they put it down I think to eighty cents an hour or something. Or no. But anyway, they took away the piecework, and I would have liked that because, like on piecework, you're running two braiders. There at the last, it was too much that we had doing. They had them doing four. And you had three decks on each one with yarn and wire. And if you didn't keep them all running, you wasn't making money. And if one had, you need to change wire, in other words, stop for yarn or something, you either had finish what you're doing and go start that one. It was, it was hot, it was stressful, very stressful. Okay. But because you had four of them running, you could make more money, right? One. Because you had four of them running, you could make more money? Well, you had to have them all running to make a 95 unit of them. Hmm. When I first started there taking breaks and stuff, I didn't really care if I made that high unit at all. I was making more money than I ever had, you know? And then I got so I wanted to make even more money. Yeah. I remember when you retired, you had like $10,000 in the bank. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah, and I thought I was rich. <laughs> now $11,000 in the bank is almost... I mean, yeah, it's still... Eleven thousand dollars is still eleven thousand dollars, but it's not anything you could retire on. Nah. Not now. I mean, now that last well, me. I went, you know, when I paid out like three thousand dollars just for signing and stuff. And at that time, you know, I wasn't getting social security. I'm just getting a pension, and my pension was only three hundred and some dollars a week, so I got down to work. I had enough money to pay my house payment and my utilities. I didn't have an extra penny for anything. And then I just started. What do you think? I didn't spend any money foolishly, and I just started saving and saving, and then, uh, then I started getting Social Security, which wasn't all that much. But I just didn't really buy anything I didn't need. And I saved and saved and saved. And then when I sold my house, of course, I'd put a lot of money in that house. I made, I paid, I bought it for 15000 and I sold it for twenty nine. So when I moved to Congress, I had $51,000. won't do the they come the right place. Then you bought this place. I, yeah, I bought this when I paid twenty-seven thousand for this and five hundred dollars for all your fees. We come to trade with the white man. Yeah, you boys come to the right place. Um, what you got? I'm given. I'm skill. given money and loan money. money. Oh, that's fine. I got plenty of cloth, tobacco, knives, axes. We want guns. I'm still careful about yeah, what I buy. Even if I could afford to buy. Fact, you know the white man's law. Now, Except for food. Right? Well, a lot of times I think trade. about so that for I'm buying too. But at my age, that's about the only thing I get out of life anymore is going and buying what I want to eat. Yeah. I don't care about going to movies because I can see everything on TV and I just can't walk that, you know, that good anymore to go places. I tell you what. 
Well, I'd get you a new TV oh, like man. Mom's big one. You can get a you can get a TV like that now for five or six hundred dollars. I mean, it's a lot of money, but that's all you do is watch TV, so it'd be worth it. I gave way too much for that one in Mary, and I gave $1,400 for that one. Well, but that's when they can't, you know, now they're just cheaper, you know. But that's the Panasonic, and look how many years I've had that. Well, now, what difference does that make? Yeah. That's really been a good TV. But at the time I bought it, I said the Panasonic was the best. I need to my wagon. It's not to mess with my business. Yeah. Not cheap. I'm a fair man. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to throw in one twist of the It rained a little bit while he was asleep. Yeah. And it made it nice and dark in here for you to sleep good. <laughs> now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I had the TV down. I just watched it.